My name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how I can create a company standard bill of materials. The first thing to do is to create a drawing uh, with an assembly inside of it so that we can actually build a bill of materials from it. It's a good idea that in one of the parts in that assembly, if we open it up and have a look at the properties menu, that we've actually got the properties loaded into this file already that we'd like to actually read through into that bill of materials. That just gives us something, uh, something to work from. Switching back to the drawing, if I just go into the annotations tab, I'll insert my bill of materials from there. Over on the left, I'm actually going to insert a part only bill of materials for this one. And I'll just click OK. Now you'll, see, you'll notice at the top, actually, before I do, that the standard template that's used here is BOM standard. Now, as it's come in, that's the standard setup for a bill of materials. It's brought in the part number, the description, and the quantity. And I can do things like I can reorder the columns quite easily by dragging at the top there. By right-clicking in the table, I can insert new columns. And by dropping down this menu, I can select what I'd like to have listed in that column. I can then do the same thing to insert one more column. If you do lose this cell, you can just click at the top here to click this button to insert a new property. And it brings it back up. OK, so having created the bill of materials the way that I'd like it, I'm just going to do one more thing, and that's to click this little button just here. It just expands the bill of materials so it's got a title, and that allows us to just type in um, the company name for example having done that what we can then do is we can actually save this table away so that we can access it another time and actually bring it into a drawing elsewhere the way we do that is actually by right clicking in the table and choosing save as now when you're saving a table in SOLIDWORKS, you can either save it as a template file, which is what we're looking to do here. We can also save it as an Excel document, or you'll see text files and CSV files, uh, depending on where you'd like to read the document into. Now with the template, all we're basically say saving is the layout for the columns, and what columns we've actually got entered into the table. Obviously it won't save any of the data in the table itself. In order to save this one, I just need to call it a name. Click Save. Uh, and then if we actually were to create a brand new bill of materials within the software, we should find the nice thing is that it actually picks up on the last table template that we used. You can see now that becomes my default. You could allow everyone else to access the same one by moving that table template into a central server and then you can click this button here to allow you to actually load from it and it should retain that save. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you might build up a standard bill of materials for company use. Thanks very much for watching.